the nast potential. If an electrical potential is applied across the membrane, the electrical charges of the iron causes them to move through the membrane even though no concentration difference exists to cause this movement. In this diagram, the concentration of negative ions is the same on both sides of the membrane, but a positive charge has been applied to the right side of the membrane and the negative charge to the left. This creates an electrical gradient across the membrane. When the positive charge attracts the negative ions, whereas the negative charge repels, therefore, the net division occurs from the left to the right. This creates a condition in which the concentration difference of the ions has developed in the direction opposite the electrical potential difference. The concentration difference now tends to move the ions to the left, while the electrical difference tends to move them to the right. When the concentration difference rises high enough, the two effects balance each other. At the normal wood temperature of 37 degrees Celsius, the electrical difference that will balance a given concentration difference of univalent ions, such as sodium, can be determined using the formula known as the Nast equation. What is the Nast equation? The EMF equals to positive or negative 61 log C1 over C2. The electrical voltage force is in millivolts and is the voltage between side 1 and side 2 of the membrane. C1 is the concentration of side 1 and C2 is the concentration of side 2 of the membrane. The magnitude of this Nast potential is determined by the ratio of the concentration of that specific ion on the two sides of the membrane. The greater this ratio, the greater the tendency for the ion to diffuse in one direction, and therefore the greater the Nast potential is required to prevent this additional need diffusion. When using this formula, it is usually assumed that the potential in the extracellular fluid outside the membrane remains at zero potential, and the Nast potential is the potential inside the membrane. The sign of the potential is positive if the ion diffusing from the inside to the outside is a negative ion, and it is negative if the ion is positive. Therefore, the concentration of positive potassium ions on the inside is 10 times that of the outside. The log of 10 is 1, so that the NAS potential calculates to be negative 61 millivolts inside the membrane. When a membrane is permeable to several different ions, the division potential that develops depends on the electromotive force in millivolts, concentration inside, and the concentration outside, which equals to positive or negative 6 to 1 log. We have three factors, the plurality of the electrical charge of each ion, the permeability of the membrane to each ion, and the concentration of the respective ions on the inside and outside of the membrane affecting this electromotive force. Therefore, the following formula called the Goldman equation or the goldman hodgkin cars equation gives the calculated membrane potential on the inside of the membrane when two univalent positive ions such as sodium and potassium and one univalent negative ion like chloride ions are involved. 